and sisters in faith and brothers and sisters in humanity. Hope everyone's having a good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be in the world. Um, yeah, today is a very special one, one of my favourites. But with added extra bits, um, going to be doing chicken drumsticks and thighs with um, Chef Chef instant marinade rub. So let's get crack into it and show you how it's done. Yeah, today I'm wearing gloves because I've got a few cuts on my fingers, so don't want them to be stinging. Right, let's get back in. I'll put a bit that much in there, I don't know, just put a bit more. Oh, this one's lovely already. And then, what you ain't got, you ain't got some Cajun in it, so we're gonna add Cajun into it. There you go, there you go. And then add a bit of salt into it as well. Not too much. And add a bit of turmeric into it. So we've got a few bits in it, but we're still adding a bit more in there. We're gonna drizzle olive oil in there. And then, Tabasco sauce, yes. This is a uh, medium hot, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it turns out. Give it a little good mix, like so. Right, here we go. Yeah, the chicken has already been washed and gave it little cuts to the side. So, it's sourcing all the flavorings. Oh yeah, look at that. It's gonna be um, adding some potatoes and some peppers in with it. And let's see how it comes out. Message to Jack Smith. This is how it's been made. Um, gonna be making some wings in the same marinade for work tomorrow so yeah you better be good to me otherwise you ain't getting the wings looks juicy and tender already hope everyone's having a positive and a good day and keeping up smiling and not letting any negativity in and I think we're gonna have to add a bit more marinade in this I knew it was gonna be enough um, we've preheated the oven up a bit as well so once these are done we're gonna go straight in the oven fingers crossed tomorrow we'll probably do the wings in the same marinade, give them a go, Let's see how they come out. And right, now it's time to the oven and wrap them up in foil and then stick them in the oven. Right, time to put these bad boys in the oven. And they should be about ready. Yeah. Right, now we're gonna chop up these potatoes and then give them a boil. Oh. Right, that size I'd say. And then after they boil, what I'll do is give them a little sprinkle with all these flavorings in and then stick them in with the chicken yep like so and then give them a good quick wash and then wait for them to boil yep 
Right, now it's time to chop up the red onions. We're gonna do them like a ring style. Now that the red onions have been chopped, we're gonna sprinkle the potatoes with these spices. These are gonna be juicy, proper. Right. Now, time to put these in with the chicken. Like so. The chicken looks juicy and it smells lovely as well. What we're gonna do is put all the onions in there, like so. With the little peppers. Right, right marinated um, the rest of the potatoes. Right, so in the same sprinkles. And now, what we're going to do is drizzle a bit more olive oil in there. All over it, like so. And then, put these bad boys back in oven for about half an hour to 45 minutes or so yep okay right now it's time to check these bad boys out come on oh Ooh, smells absolutely delicious oh yes oh yes these are actually done what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have take a little bit off. Now I'm gonna have Ooh. trust me guys you need to make this. Oh, this is absolutely This a go. Oh. Mm. Perfect. It is perfect. Trust me. You guys need to make this. That being said, now this is done. You can't feed the stomach of mine now, yeah? So that being said, peace, love and blessings to each and every one of you, whoever you are, wherever you are. Sorry, this is just tasty. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe over and out.